Introduction to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. Tagging support for instance principles. With instance principles, your compute instances act as principal actors that permit the instances to make API calls against Oracle Cloud Infrastructure services based on policies. Currently, matching rules are based on the instance ID and compartment ID. Added to these, now tagging is also supported within the instance principle scenario. Instances are configured as principal actors, derived from a set of matching rules. Now, tenant admins can group the instances in a more granular fashion by grouping them based on tags. With tagging support, it is easier to group your instances to be part of a dynamic group. Hi, please tell me more about tagging support for instance principles in IAM. For better understanding, let us consider this scenario. Here you have tagged compute instances in different compartments across a tenancy. Say you want to group all instances tagged with the tag namespace called operations and tag key called project. For that, you must enter the API parameter, matching rule, tag.operations.project.value. All instances that currently exist or get created with the tag namespace operations and tag key project are members of this group. Similarly, say you want to group all instances tagged with the tag namespace called operations, tag key called project, and tag value called alpha. For that, you must enter the API parameter, matching rule, tag.operations.project.value equals alpha. All instances that currently exist or get created with the tag namespace operations, tag key project, and tag value alpha are members of this group. That really makes it simple. Does the existing instance principles task flow change completely with the new tagging support? No, it doesn't change completely. The change is only within the contents of the matching rule parameters. The previously supported conditions were instance ID, compartment ID, the new condition includes the support for tags, where tag namespace and tag key are mandatory, with the optional tag value. The user can use any combination of these old and new matching rule conditions. A matching rule has the following syntax. For a single condition, variable equal to or not equal to value. For multiple conditions, any or all conditions. The syntax for the supported variables are instance.compartment.id, the OCID of the compartment where the instance resides. instance.id, the OCID of the instance. tag.tagnamespace.tagkey.value, the tag namespace and tag key. tag.tagnamespace.tagkey.value equals tag value, the tag namespace, tag key, and tag value. Here are some examples. To include all instances that are in a specific compartment, add a rule with the following syntax. To include all instances that reside in any of two or more compartments, add a rule with the following syntax. To include all instances that are tagged with a specific tag namespace and tag key, add a rule with the following syntax. To include all instances in a specific compartment that are tagged with a specific tag namespace, key, and value, Add a rule with the following syntax. To include all instances in a specific compartment except those that are tagged with a specific tag namespace, key, and value, add a rule with the following syntax. You can easily update the matching rules that define the members of a dynamic group. For example, you might update a rule to include a new tag value. When you make a change to a matching rule, you must allow about 20 minutes for the updated policy to take effect. Or you can force an immediate refresh by restarting the application using instance principles. Can you demonstrate the steps to be followed in creating the instance principles with tags? Sure. Essentially, the steps for creating the instance principles are the same, with some minor changes in the contents of the matching rules to support tags. Log in to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal. Click Identity. 
and then click Dynamic Groups. Click Create Dynamic Group. Enter a unique name for the group and a friendly description. You can either manually enter the matching rule in the text box or launch the rule builder. The rule builder does not support rules with conditions based on tags, so let us use the text box. The syntax to include the tag namespace and tag key is tag dot tag namespace dot tag key dot value. Optionally, if you wish to include the tag namespace, tag key, and tag value, the syntax is tag dot tag namespace dot tag key dot value equals tag value. All instances with the above tags will be members of this dynamic group. Click Create Dynamic Group. The dynamic groups in your tenancy is displayed. The existing instance principle will have the following API. Now the user can use any of these combinations. Tag namespace and tag key. User provides a tag namespace and tag key, which will include all instances with tags with this tag key, regardless of the tag value. Tag namespace, tag key, and tag value. User provides a tag namespace, tag key, and tag value, which will include all instances with tags with this tag key and tag value. Next, create an instance, which is part of the dynamic group we created above. Check the matching rules and make sure the instance fulfills this criteria. The instances with the tag namespace operations, tag key project, and tag value alpha will be members of the dynamic group we created above. Finally, complete the workflow with the following steps. Create a policy granting permissions to the dynamic group to access services in your tenancy or compartment. Then, a developer in your organization configures the application built using the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, SDK, to authenticate using the instance principles provider. The developer deploys the application and the SDK to all the instances that belong to the dynamic group. The deployed SDK can now make calls to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure APIs as allowed by the policy, without needing to configure API credentials. That was an interesting overview. Instance principles with tags makes it easier to logically group compute instances and enables you to assign policies through dynamic groups. Thanks. You're welcome. Please go to the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Portal to learn more. Be sure to sign up for the free trial and get started right away.